tilt, the tilted kilt, home of the after party for STFC 31. This is a three round matchup in the STFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the red corner, weighed in at 155 pounds, with an even record of two wins, two losses. Fighting out of the capital, Austin, Texas, Trayvon Scorpion Hobbs. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. Waiting at 155 pounds. Also with an even professional record of one win and only one loss. Fighting out of McAllen, Texas. Salvador, El Torito Gonzalez. What's known about Trayvon Hobbs, I haven't heard too much about him. But, uh, being the East from Austin, you know he's going to probably be one of the more athletic uh, breed of fighters we have out here, it seems like. Definitely no love loss between these guys. Apparently there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of heat with the Wayans between these two guys. Let's see how this translated to all the, to the to this match on the here at SCFC 31. So far, pretty impressed with uh, Hobbs' takedown defense and really really quicker the two so far. Yeah, he looks. Good body shot by Hobbs. I think uh, Salvador's getting a little bit of the jitters out right now. Hobbs seems to be the more calm of the two. Yeah, if I was Hobbs, I'd stay uh, standing, I, I would stay out of the wrestling exchange. I'm going for a takedown. I'm sure maybe he knows something we don't know. Maybe his wrestling is a lot better than we're giving him credit for. <laughs> you know he has good defense, that's for sure. Well, uh, <clears throat> Salvador has spent some time in training with a UFC fighter, Frank Sican Trevino, and uh, his Muay Thai coach, Abram Torres, as, lo as well as uh, Armando Ponce over there in his corner, a lot of the Gracie Baja crew. So definitely got some good guys in his corner, definitely a lot of knowledge over there on that side of his thing. He also had some uh, experience with Team Stick Kayan, so he should have some pretty good Muay Thai. Um, right now, both fighters are uh, in the clinch right now. I really want to see how these guys do on the ground. It's, it's more interesting, I want to see how they, they do standing up. Well, Hobbs working those elbows. Hobbs is, Hobbs is very explosive and impressive, right? very calm right now. Very cool demeanor. Really good takedown defense. Oh, he's working on our guillotine. Right oh, might have got hurt. Might have got a little cut on the way down. It is Gonzalez. Gonzalez is bleeding from where it is. I really can't tell from this angle. But uh, Hobbs working that open guard. I'm not too sure. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I, it seems like the thing he wants to do. He needs to try to get to create some space and use that fence to stand on up. In that ground and pound. Ten seconds. So the ten second mark. It looks like they're going to make it out of here, Barnes. Some extreme knockout. So far, Hobbs able to hold on to the end of the round. Shout out to Anthony De La Garza here tonight. Rocky Moreno and the girls from Exoticas. Looks like Gonzalez is kind of loosened up a little bit. Gonzalez working that lead leg Muay Thai, so you know, you know he got some coaching from him. 
Abram thought it. And Frank Trevino on that. guys are uh, definitely well versed in Muay Thai. Looks like Hobbs had an accidental groin shot on Gonzalez. What is what does Gonzalez have to do to kind of neutralize the speed? Of oh, perfect. perfect right on the temple. Hobbs blows on Gonzalez. Unbelievable out cold. Definitely was the more explosive of the two. Hopefully, Gonzalez should be okay. I mean, it does happen in our sport, but you hate to see that happen, man. Definitely. Powerful. I thought he might be doing the right thing, throwing those body kicks. You know? Nope, not tonight. Let's put him out quick. Gonzalez doesn't really know where he's at right now. 